Hey YouTubers, Down River Firepower here again with you with yet another gun, uh, yet another review for you. This is another revolver. This is my Smith & Wesson 686, the SSR, the slab sided revolver. Uh, this is out of their Pro Series, which is kind of a in-between between, between their standard uh, production and the Performance Center. This gun is just feels amazing in your hand. It's like shaking, you know, shaking hands with your best friend. This gun is wonderful. It's a 357 Magnum, uh, the stainless steel. It's uh, kind of polished down, so you don't get the. Uh, it's not quite as shiny as most of their stainless guns. It's a little more matte uh, in that finish. Uh, it's got the orange insight insert on the front sight here. Uh, a little easier to pick up in daylight. Um, it has the tapered under lug under the barrel. Gives it kind of a really cool appearance. And it's actually very, very flat. Uh, that's why they call it the slab-sided revolver. Very kind of spacey looking, almost steampunk looking gun here. Uh, if you put, I think if you put different grips on this, you would definitely have a very racy looking, uh, custom looking revolver. Um, I love this gun. It is... After all, a six shot, 357, which will get the job done. Um, like I said before, I've got pretty small little circus hands, and it fits me just perfect. I love this gun. I think this is probably the best feeling gun I own in my hands. Uh, great trigger. I would definitely say the trigger is better than standard. Uh, Smiths, even though standard Smiths have just fine triggers, uh, adjustable sights on there. Uh, kind of, kind of hard to find a holster that fits it. Any 686 holster should fit it, but if you want that truly custom fit, uh, you're gonna have to look around a lot for a uh, for a holster for this one. But they are out there. I've seen them. Uh, these are the SSR grips, which are kind of the gives it the more custom feel to it. Uh, got that nice skateboard tape type uh, I guess you'd finish to them would that be the word feels great on your hands kind of controls the recoil but doesn't grind your hands like a cheese grater uh, these are 357's I've got this in comparison here you got 45 ACP you got a 44 mag and then right in the middle you got a 357 magnum uh, you can trust 357 to self-defense needs. It will do the job. Uh, if you're a little uh, recoil shy, hey, go down to a thir uh, 38 Special. Those also, I mean, heck, police carried them for years. Uh, me, I stoke this one since it's a full-size gun. I stoke it with, you know, full-on self-defense 357 Magnum loads. Um, this one right here is kind of, if I need a little more concealment, uh, concealment while I'm hiking or something like that, I'll take this as opposed to my 629 44 mag right there which is pretty good amount of bulk this is probably almost a pound lighter if not maybe a little over a pound lighter um, good all-around gun um, not exactly the most affordable pistol Smith & Wesson makes but you get a lot for your money uh, you're not you know you're not paying for little tiny things you'll never use you're, you're getting a lot of special little details with that extra money you'll pay over a regular 686. Um, hope this, uh, you know, I hope this review helped anyone that was maybe on the fence about this gun or was thinking about buying one. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel, f feel free to comment. Uh, let me know what you think of my video so far. Please subscribe me if you're a new person watching this. And, well, you guys have a good day. I am going shooting.